おはようございます。私はオラトリです。南アフリカから来ました。英語の教師です。どうぞよろしくお願いします。Guess who finally learned ja- ja- Japanese? This month is actually my first time finally starting my language school here in Japan and actually learning the language. Obviously, you guys are getting this vlog a little bit late. Because all of this happened in October, but I am finally going to be starting my new job on the 1st of October, obviously. So that is very, very exciting. I've been a little bit sad being in the house in Japan for two months because I did not think that the process of actually starting my job would take this long, but I've been in a slump. So, yeah, it was giving very much. I just finished university, I'm looking for a job. I have no work depression basically, even though I knew that I had signed my contract and it was not the case, but it was just not that great because obviously I don't have friends here in Japan yet and I was alone most of the day and we all went to work. So yeah, it was not that great. Just watched TV, listened to some music, kept myself busy, went on walks, went to go visit some shrines and temples, but it was not taking away the loneliness I felt in two months. So I really cannot wait to start. Working and interact with people and actually just get out of the slump that I'm in. So, yeah, I'm really, really excited to take you guys along with me to just get out of a slump, clean the house, and just get the day going and get the month rolling. So, yeah, I just do my skincare and let's get on with the day. Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Today, I will be taking you with me to just show you around what I do around the house. There's a lot of cleaning that I need to do because the apartment is low key a bit not looking good. <laughs> so, I'm going to be doing some cleaning today. I'm going to be doing a lot of spring cleaning today, and I need to go grocery shopping because. The last three days left. Today's a Friday of this weekend is my last weekend being at home and I'm gonna be starting my new job on Monday. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of heavy cleaning, doing the things that we don't like to do, you know, scrubbing the toilet, scrubbing the bathroom and all of that. So I'm gonna be doing all of that today. And then later on in the evening, I am starting a language school. I'm actually going to a Japanese language school for the first time ever and I am taking the steps to learning Japanese so that my life can be a little bit easier here and eliminate the language barrier okay so yeah we're gonna be doing that today and I need to go grocery shopping and I need to recycle and sort out our trash I know that sounds very weird but you'll see what I mean <laughs> as the day goes but yeah so let's start by washing some clothes and Getting on with packing up and cleaning up and washing dishes and doing all of that. So, yeah, stick around and see what I get up to as a housewife in Japan. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's just get into not feeling so great for a couple of months. Ah, I can't believe it. But, you know, there's one thing about living abroad that no one tells you about, and it's just being lonely when you're abroad. So, yeah, I was going through it. Okay, I was going through it, but you know what? I never let anything get me down because I'm like, hey, I'm in a new country, I could explore, I could learn about the culture and new things and learn the language, so I can do it. But yo, trying to be Mrs. Positive, hey, it did not work. I was beaten for most of the months, actually, I was really beaten cried so much mostly i cried because i got lost i think you guys know that by now but leather parts were just crying because i'm like oh i miss my mom and also like i want to know like when what age are we supposed to turn before we start being friends with our moms because i have this urge of just wanting to tell my mom everything things that i did in my past that i feel like she needs to know about because i feel like i'm grown enough now but i know for sure because my mom is stronger she would fly out here and beat me up because am i crazy you know so what age do we start feeling comfortable enough to tell our parents stuff because sometimes i'm just like oh my god i had a disagreement with this person i just want to tell her about everything but then i know she's not gonna respond the way my friend would she would respond the way my mom would and i'm not ready for that so yeah what age are we gonna start talking to our moms about stuff i want to know tell me okay tell me 
but yeah this vacuum is horrible by the way i'm looking at this now and i'm thinking oh my god why did we buy this vacuum i thought the vacuum was cute i need to stop buying things because i think they look cute and actually be practical about stuff but i found a coin in the washing machine <laughs> Yeah. Rule number one, check the pockets of clothes before you wash them because that did look very dangerous. So, yeah, but yeah, I'm finally out of my slump. I'm finally getting my life together. I'm finally feeling good enough to be outside and actually interact with people, which makes me very, very happy. I think that's one thing I really do appreciate about working. So I really can't wait to start doing that soon know how people hang clothes on the balcony i do it with great difficulty okay but we're gonna move on to cleaning the bathroom i'm almost done this little cupboard and this little vanity mirror has been driving me crazy i am obsessed with organizing stuff and we actually didn't buy a lot of organizing containers so i finally went out to daiso to go buy some which makes me really really happy so now it can look semi-organized i'm gonna buy more okay because this looks okay but it could look better so yeah i'm gonna start cleaning the toilet which i hate so much i really hate cleaning the toilet so 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 much but i'm gonna do it i'm gonna scrub down the toilet i'm gonna scrub them the bathroom i'm gonna scrub down every single corner of this house today this house does not know who it's dealing with okay someone should hire me <laughs> i think i could be a professional cleaner you should have seen the things i was doing half of the things i did not film because i was just in the zone sometimes i even forgot that i was recording myself doing all of this so yeah yeah i will scrub it down i actually wanted to remove the seat because i've seen people clean the toilet and actually remove the toilet seat but it's fine it's a story for another day i'll do that another day but yeah i cleaned the bathroom and i felt so satisfied everything was so satisfied when you're cleaning is so satisfied i need to scrub this wall i'm not sure how i feel about the whole bathroom being a wet room because yeah it makes my life a bit difficult these are my trusted tools Possibly good from the bathroom. Removing these gloves, I'm about to mop. Okay, so I am here to solve mop gate. Do you guys remember when I bought that mop from Daiso? And I showed you guys what it looks like because I did not understand how the mops in Japan operate. So I'm gonna show you the mop I'm talking about. The mop in question. So this is the thing that they sell separately by the way by itself and i didn't understand like how is this mop supposed to work so i finally figured it out i'm gonna show you okay so i was supposed to buy this thing this thing clamps the mop here oh lord jesus it clamps the mop over here and you can just open it like that and it releases the small part and then if you do that it makes it tighter so yeah you basically can replace the mop head and you can keep the stick instead of buying a whole new mop which i think is smart by the way so yeah about to mop and then wash some dishes <laughs> Stopper in the sink. 
it's just a hole and the hole traps dirt we'll talk about the dirt at a later point because I dislike this so much I cannot stand it because I have to empty it out every time I wash dishes and it's not that cute so yeah but I found a solution my solution to my problem where is my solution here is my solution so as you can see these things you put inside the drain that catches the stuff so you don't have to touch it anymore you just like take out the little bag and just throw it away so i'm gonna do that today <laughs> So this is that garbage disposal thing I was telling you guys about. It goes in here. Every time you wash dishes, it catches all the stuff, basically. And there's no big enough stopper to put here. And I'm about tired of taking out all the stuff after washing dishes. So, solution. I hope it's big enough. I think it's supposed to go here. Like this. Like that. Yeah. For like this. And then the stuff is disposable. So, I mean, the stuff comes in, this will catch it. Smart. Smart. And then you close it. Then you close it. Oh. Okay. This is flower in Japan. I actually finally found flower. Cool, right? Very little though. And then this is baking powder. Um, vanilla essence. Butter. Milk and some eggs. I'm gonna make a better way. topic of starting a new journey of teaching here in Japan I just wanted to share something exciting with you guys I know most of you have subscribed to my channel for my online teaching videos and you found me through online teaching and we have built a little online teaching community here on YouTube which makes me very very happy which is why I am so so excited to share the canvas 13 with you guys because I know that a lot of online teachers would really appreciate to use something like this a little bit of more information about the canvas 13 Thank you to Huon for sponsoring this portion of the video. So let's get to our unboxing. This is the Huon Canvas 13 pen display tablet. It has eight express buttons. It is fully laminated and it comes with a lot of equipment in the box. So let's start. We have a tablet stand which comes with instructions on how to set it up and then we have cables the usb type cables with the power cable also and then we have a stylus which comes with two buttons it actually feels like a pen it's so natural and then we have a pen holder and then we have a glove especially for people that are illustrators and drawers they will really appreciate the glove because it lets you control the pen and let the tablet only feel the motions of the pen and nothing else and we have a screen wiper in the pen holder we have extra nibs and nib removers which comes in handy and then this is me just setting up the stand to show you guys how easy and seamless it is to set up the stand you can set up the stand to any angle that you prefer and it is very very easy to do so so this is basically just me showing you how you can set it up and you put the tablet over here which is very very easy so yeah that is the canvas 13 pen display for you by Huan. So I have had this tablet for I think a good three weeks now and I've been playing around with it. I'm not really 
smart when it comes to technology but my husband actually helped me out to set it up install drivers and get it started so i'm just going to share with you how i would use huan to create an interactive lesson and how you can just go about sharing your screen with your students and actually helping them go through an activity when i teach i like to teach a concept and then after teaching the concept we'll actually try and do an activity to see if the student understands so this is basically how you can use it so the lesson that I'm going to show you guys today is about past tense um, I just spoke briefly to my student about past tense and how they can use past tense um, in daily life and then I am going to do this quick quiz with my student while I do so I share the screen with my student and I let them pick the answers while I just select them on my tablet just like this it's so seamless I mean the pen display works really really well you can just scroll you can use it like a mouse you can just use it like a pen you can draw with it on the screen it really works so beautifully and so seamlessly and then afterwards I like to use a PDF I will send my students a PDF as a form of homework so that they can fill in the answers and send it back to me so I can mark it with them. This is really good for you to actually go through the activity with your student and show them where they went wrong so that they can get immediate feedback. So I really love what the pen display is doing. You can use it for many, many more other things than that but this is specifically just to show you how you can incorporate the canvas 13 in your daily teaching especially online or in your classroom if you are a teacher that is teaching and you have a mini projector and you just want to share something with your students you can just use this huon canvas 13 tablet to just share an extra screen or draw on it or point at something that your students might not be seeing it's a really really great tool for you to use if you're a mathematics teacher you can just show how you draw uh, right angles or how you draw a trapezium and how you draw a circle and work out circumferences and all of that stuff it's really really great to use and all of that so yeah do let me know if you guys want to try using the huon tablet i really really do recommend it i think it is a great tool to use and the next product that huon sent me is the huon note if you know me you know i love planning and i love writing down everything on the journal i am literally the queen of journals this these are all my journals like i am the queen of diaries okay but huan actually sent me something exciting that i can't wait to share with you guys a little bit more about the huan note this is the huan note and it comes with instructions on the first few pages on how to use it it is a standard a5 size and it comes with 50 pages that are replaceable so if they finish don't worry you can just buy more and replace them in the box you get extra nibs and a nib remover as well as instructions on how to do so and we also have a cable a usb c cable that you can use to charge the huon note and if you'd like, you can use this Huon Note as a pen display. So you can put it on pen display mode and you can use it as a pen display. In order for you to use the Huon Note, you need to download the Huon Note app so that when you record on the notebook, it also records on your phone in real time, which is really, really cool, don't you think? You can carry this around anywhere you want because it's really light and it's really easy to carry. And for the girlies that love aesthetics, this notebook is for you because it is nice and brown and it has leather so yeah i really really like this huon note i'm gonna write something on the huon note and actually show you guys how it works i will also put a screen recording of my screen on the side so that you guys can see how it actually works like this is really really so cool i love to write down any idea that comes to mind so for now let's talk about what i need to do next week i know that i need to do my weekly planning i know that i need to buy some apples because we're actually doing an experiment <laughs> with my students about creating an apple volcano so i need to write that down and what is great about this is that whatever it is that you write down on the book can be kept on the book and also can be kept on your phone uh all i needed to do to just set up is obviously download the huon note app and it was really really easy for me to do so so yeah i'm just gonna write down a list of things that i need to do next week especially for my work 
and then also I'm just gonna write down a couple of ideas because this year I'm planning on doing vlogmas so <laughs> I want to write down some ideas for vlogmas so you guys can see how it works like this is really really great and the brown is really aesthetic it's giving it's giving vibes okay it's giving office vibes the other cool thing that you can do with this hue on tablet is actually turn it into a pen display so you can remove the book and turn the hue on tablet into a pen display so what you need to do is basically just paste this over here you can paste it and then connect it to your laptop and then you can use it as a pen display just like the canvas 13 actually but i really love to use it as a notebook and it's been really really great as a notebook and i love carrying this and i love the pen and the style of this huan note it is grocery shopping time and that's exactly what i'm gonna do right now just grocery shop for the week hopefully i can carry stuff in that other small bag and a plastic bag that i have the shopping bag that i got from daiso is broken the handle is broken i don't know what to do with it so yeah and then after that we shall go to the next school exciting <laughs> Your heart, keep it in your pocket for safekeeping. Don't ever let nobody be the reason. You throw it out, you stop caring about it. Don't let your head get in the way. Can't be defined by your mistakes. You know you try and you try really hard, but sometimes you fall. You yeah, sometimes you fall. Sometimes you fall Sometimes you fall